Hey guys, this is lesson 4.4, solving multi-step inequalities for algebra. Solving multi-step inequalities, you pretty much do the exact same thing as you would with a equal sign. However, you want to put in your notes when you divide, whoops, or multiply by a negative, you switch, gosh, the signs. So make sure you have that in your notes and make sure you just remember that as you're going through these problems. So. You're gonna draw your line and you add four to both sides. So then you get negative three X is less than or equal to 18. When I divide by a negative three, X becomes greater than or equal to negative six. So I switched my sign and then um, I got my answer. Now I'm going to minus seven from both sides so this is negative two is greater than negative two t. I divide by negative two. When I divide by a negative, I have to switch my sign and then I have my t and then I have one. So you could write this both ways. You can write it as one is greater than t or you can write t is less than one. Just make sure your inequality is pointing at t both times that you rewrite it. All right, um, the school band needs a banner to carry in a parade. The banner committee decides that the length of the banner should be 18 feet. A committee member drew the diagram at the left to help understand the problem. What are the possible widths of the banner if they can use no more than 48 feet of trim? So they have 48 feet of trim to go all the way around it. So that's going to be what you set your equation equal to. If you notice here, and you have two sides that are 18 feet. This side and this side are both 18 feet. And then you're gonna have plus two of the width because you have the width here and the width here. So they wrote their equation, two times 18 plus two W is less than or equal to 48. It has to be less than 48 because you can't go over 48 feet of trim. So you do this whole equation and you get W has to be less than or equal to six. So try this problem. To make a second banner, the committee decided to make the length 12 feet. They have 40 feet of a second type of trim. Write and solve an inequality to find the possible widths of the second banner. So I'm gonna draw a picture. Okay, so this is 12, this is 12, this is W, and this is W. So I would have 2W plus 24, and it has to be less than or equal to 40. So I'm gonna minus 24 from both sides. So then I get 2W is less than or equal to 16. And then I divide by two. So the width has to be less than or equal to eight. So it would be a 12 by eight banner. All right, so try these. Solve each inequality and check your solution. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my line. First I notice there's parentheses. So I need to do this first. You have to do rewrite the problem so that it, the parentheses are gone. Now I'm going to combine this, so this is 6p. I'm going to minus 14 from both sides. So then I know I have 6p is less than 8 minus 14 is negative 6. I divide by 6, and that's a positive 6, so I do not flip my sign. So p is less than negative 1. Now I'm going to check it real quick. Remember, I told you you need to check on tests for sure. So this is negative one. Four times negative one is negative four, plus two times negative one plus seven, so negative one plus seven is six, two times six is 12. Is that less than eight? Is negative four plus 12 
which would be eight. Is eight less than eight? No, but here's the thing. It says P is less than negative one. So now if you chose a number less than negative one, you know it would be less than eight. So this is correct because eight works. Now, if you try this one, you have 15 is less than or equal to five minus eight M. So I did that. Negative two times four M is negative eight M. Negative two times seven is negative 14. So then I have 15 is less than or equal to five minus 14 is negative nine minus eight M. And then I'm gonna add nine to both sides. 15 plus nine is 24 is negative eight M. I divide by a negative eight. So then that is negative three and I switch my sign is greater than or equal to M. So you try this, put in negative three. 15 is less than or equal to five minus, now two times, four times negative three is negative 12 plus seven, negative 12 plus seven is negative five. So then you get 15 is less than or equal to five plus 10 because negative two times negative five is a positive 10. So 15 is less than or equal to 15. Equal to is the key point. You're, when you're plugging in this number that you got for your answer, it's always going to be equal to. It's not gonna be the less than unless you picked a number that was less than. All right, so try these. These two are a little bit different. Okay, here you have multi-step equations. You have to minus 12, first and then you have to combine variables. So 27 minus 12 is 15 minus 2b and then I'm going to add 2b. So then you get 5b is greater than 15 so b is greater than 3. So in that one you just had to combine add or subtract first and then combine your variables. This one you have both sides have the distributive property. So you have negative 6x plus 24 is greater than or equal to 14x minus 21. So then I am going to add 6x to both sides. Doesn't matter, if you didn't choose to add 6x and you chose to minus 24, you still should get the same answer that I get in the end. And then I'm gonna add 21. So that's 45 is greater than or equal to 20x. Divide by 20. So 45 divided by 20. 45 divided by 2 is 4.5 divided by 2. And then if you did that, it would be 2.25. Move my decimal so it's 2.25 is greater than or equal to x. All right, that is it for your notes.